uh, colleagues from COPAC uh, were not able to make it all the way from uh, Agadir to, to here on time. So they send me their presentations. I'll be happy just to show you an actual example. So we've seen examples from Brazil, from all over the world. It's interesting to see that Moroccan companies are, have also invested in uh, process, process heat. So COPAG is uh, a company that is a consortium of multiple farmers. Uh, they have uh, several areas of activities. One of them is milk, the other one, so we'll get to that, and fruits. So one of the most important uh, things to remember from this slide, I think it's an important thing. If we are to create a local process heat, it will be difficult to do so if we talk with every specific farmer separately. So Morocco have encouraged farmers to get together in cooperatives, uh, and we, COPAC is one of the most successful ones in that. So what you see is that you need a minimum scale if you want process heat to be adopted because the up, uh, the initial investment in CAPEX could be prohibitive for, for many companies. So a few numbers just to give you an idea about this cooperative. So they produce more than 6,000, or they have planted more than 6,000 in uh, citrus. So that's the first one. Uh, they are also present in multiple areas, including milk and commercialization. So they are end-to-end -end from production all the way to the end customer. The, uh, they have multiple renewable energy projects, so I wanted to put this slide. So one of the areas where Mazen is not directly involved is PV for solar pumping or PV for agricultural applications. And they have a very ambitious program uh, to establish a four megawatt installation only dedicated for their industrial needs, but also for the commercial uh, applications of their farmers. Uh, when we're looking at the private sector PV in Morocco, one of the main applications is solar pumping. It turns out that this is a very active uh, field where there has been multiple uh, realizations. So the, the other thing that is important to uh, uh, emphasize is that Unless there is direct support, these types of CSP for industrial heat do not happen on their own. I see my colleague Fatiha from GIZ, she's sitting there. Um, they, they have been instrumental in helping Moroccan companies adopt new technologies, and one of them is CSP. Mazen has been also a, an active uh, partner in this. We have a dedicated program called Fast Track to Market that allows Mazen to directly help Moroccan companies to become actors and technology developers. And thanks to these two uh, contributions that covered 50% of the investment, COPAC was able to afford the first installation for solar heat in Morocco. So the area where it's located is over the roofs. So uh, Terudent is about 20 to 25 kilometers from Agadir. It's a highly agricultural area in Morocco. And by agriculture, we mean industrial agriculture. Uh, they, they, are, they have a potential of 14 hectares uh, to implement solar. So this is a small first test for them to use um, heat, process heat. So they didn't wait for solar energy to use process heat. They have a uh, heater, industrial heater, that use fuel that would heat water to clean the tanks where they collect milk and process it. And so what they have uh, tried to do is supplement the current heater with a CSP installation, installation that preheats the liquid before going to the fuel. So ultimately what they are doing is that they are saving on the fuel by having a CSP in installation. So the, uh, the energy that they are using, this is not the best place for solar in Morocco, but it's still very good. I mean, compared to Europe, it's, it's uh, considerable. What you can see is that 
you still have a pretty steady production throughout the, the year that because this is a 24 seven production installation. So they can't afford to have very big differences between summer where you still have a peak and winter. Um, this is very important when you're looking at a uh, industrial installation. The variability of renewable could be a, I would say a, a push off for, for adaptation. Um, as I said, this is not the best numbers in Morocco, but still it made the investment worthwhile for them to, to have the installation. Um, out of the maximum available power, they were only able to capture two thirds of it, which means that there is still a considerable, considerable gap in terms of technology adoption, in terms of coupling between the process uh, they, that they have and the, and the CSP uh, that they bring. These are a few numbers. Uh, so what they have is a uh, closed loop uh, the temperature coming out of the four loops is about 150 degrees at six bars. So it's a tra heat transfer fluid with an exchanger. And what they are doing is that they are able to reduce the... Initially, the fluid would, co would come into the burner at Cambian temperature, so maybe 25 degrees. Thanks to this preheating, it comes in at a much higher level, so the, the fuel uh, is only used to top off the heat of the, of the fluid. And so I think it's, it's, there's a lot of uh, lessons learned from this experience. If you're pushing for adoption of process heat and you come with a pitch that says you will be replacing your existing installation with CSP, I think this is the bad pitch to be, to be had. CSP has to be looked at because of the variability as a way to reduce consumption of fossil fuels. I think this is a very uh, important message that should be uh, remembered from this, uh, from this session. So this gives you the typical production for one day from the maximum here to the average to the minimum. And what you see is that the average is closer to the maximum than to, to the minimum. We're still a very sunny country, and you see the production here uh, over time. The, this number I obtained uh, separately, because I think this is the most important message, is that they didn't change their process. They just saved over seven tons of fuel per year, close to eight tons of fuel per year, by doing this installation. And that amounts to about 40,000 euros or 4,000 euros. This is a very small installation, if you remember. But the return on investment can now be measured because they've been running this, this process for over, over a year. It's been running smoothly, no, no particular program. Single access tracking, just like parabolic trough. Uh, the technology, I think, was Canadian, initially installed by a Moroccan startup. We believe that this could be a poster child, basically, for multiple installations and I think the presentation by Peter was uh, to the point that there will be multiple needs depending on the temperature and depending on the industry. And so it's happening. We foresee that the next wave, as I was saying, would be for CSP would be um, the industrial heat and industrial cooling. And I think there will be multiple solutions, not just a single winner uh, one tall. That was the last slide. Um, I'm, I'm kind of afraid to open the door for questions. This is not my, my area, but I still would be happy to take a few questions. <laughs>